What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan. It's George. What's poppin', guys? How you living? Yeah, man. Lost some days coming back at you another unbiased Real reaction. Yeah. Shout out to the free thinkers. Yeah, man. As Go. always. All right, man. We had to get back to uh, six seconds. Six huh? seconds, man. We've done a few from six seconds. For those of you who haven't seen our six seconds videos, go check those out. Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing I want to bring up for six seconds, man. Um, and it's one thing that I really actually appreciate it. It's six seconds. Uh, shout out us out on Twitter. Or brought this this video to our attention on Twitter, and I think that that's cool, man. And I think that yep. more artists need to do that, man, because this is a it's a good way for artists to kind of get out there, especially in your if you're up and coming. It's a good way to kind of build buzz around yourself, you know. Absolutely. And he actually personally sent us an email, so salute to Absolutely. Six Seconds for emailing us directly, um, asking us to kind of react to this. So we do appreciate that. Absolutely. Um, man. You know, so one hand washes the other, right? I scratch you know your back, mean? you scratch mine. That's how it works. You know. You know what I mean? Plus, we like Six Seconds because yeah. Six Seconds got he has bars. He too. does have bars. He has bars. Yeah. So without further ado, we're gonna get into Six Seconds. Bite the bullet. Let's get it. Let's rock. feeling that this is gonna yeah, be one of those we're not breaking against. out every line wow. we'll, we'll, we'll touch on the lines that really grab us the most but just to kind of touch on it i've arrived through the smoke screen with coke schemes for the dope fiends yeah. you bozo a cold flow that runs smooth as a nosebleed so mm -hmm. a cold flow that yeah. runs smooth a cold your nose yeah. bleeds when you have a cold run smooth as a nosebleed in other words i'm hard to see like waving from the nosebleeds yeah. mm -hmm. you know so that was smooth yep you know what i mean hard to see like when he when he says hard to see when on, in the hood, when someone says, you can't see me, <laughs> that means, like, you can't fuck with me, right? Yeah. So I'm hard to see, as in you can't fuck with me, but hard to see, like, someone being in a nosebleed section they can't see. See? You see how long that takes? Yes. It takes too fucking long to break down every line. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. Well, it's action, it's clips for your whole scene Cause I'm rolling with a click of warriors like old shoes Get your egg crack, see? Shells like a Yoshi Or like gun fights What can niggas talk about? I do want to point something out, though Uh-oh, uh-oh! Is that, is that Nino? Oh, Wesley ain't that Nino Brown? Is that Brown? Nino? We got a little New Jack City, a little New Jack City clip in there Shout out to uh, Six Seconds for putting yeah. Kind of hints that you can't see me Can't see him, he's, you know? he's big dog, yeah. Nino Brown I do want to uh, point out that I, to get your egg cracked seashells like Yoshi. The whole seashells thing, when he says seashells, he means guns, yeah. shells, shells from the gun, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. But I just, I've heard that so much, you know what I mean? And I guess that's because I, I'm a battle rap fan and I see yeah. when you see shells, it's kind of yeah. like one of those yeah. common yeah. things that people say. But he said, when it's action, there's clips for your whole scene. Yeah. That was hard. So when it's action, when there's a problem, when there's beef, when there's, there's static, when yeah. there's- He got a whole bunch of clips. Clips. <laughs> like. <laughs> Clips of the gun. Clips of the gun <laughs> for your whole scene. Yeah. So when there's when there's beef, he's basically gonna he's got he's got ammunition to kill people, right? right. That's right. what he means. But the play on words is action. Clips for your whole scene. It's the play on like cinematography. Simi. Yep. You know what I mean? Movies. So whole scene, clips, action. So camera lights. Action. And then your whole scene, your whole crew, your whole neighborhood, whatever. Yep. So Don't. see that shit takes too long, man. <laughs> it's, it's but he's dope though, man. He's slick. Yeah. So just to, you know, for the people, for those who, international subscribers, those that aren't as familiar with punchlines and wordplay, we do it for y'all. Yeah, man. Part. Let's get back to it. Yeah, and y'all don't even get the half of it. This little nigga think he match with six. There ain't a fucking way in hell I'ma let this nigga stand for it. Like, shot. I was taking me like Leg shots. <laughs> so I guess this is a diss, though, right? I guess this is. A I guess diss. so. You know what I mean? I heard. It, I who was he talking about? I heard about? someone in the comments said that this was a diss song. I don't know who he's talking about. I don't know. But you know, but he's a he's dissing something. Right, right. So he said that ain't no fucking way in hell. I'm gonna let this nigga stand for it, right? right? Leg shot hollows take a knee he, like Kaepernick. Kaepernick. You know what I mean? So. He's basically, you know, he's not gonna let somebody stand, you know, he's not gonna let somebody stand in front of him, essentially is what he's saying, right? right? Stand for it. Mm -hmm. But he's gonna shoot him in the leg and, you know, so they can't stand. Yeah, but he's also, re he's also <laughs> referencing Colin Kaepernick, how he's, takes, he's been taking a knee during the national anthem, but he's saying take it, he has in, shoot his knee. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, that means that you have to need. You, you, you got, got you're going to have to go down because <laughs> I'm not gonna stand for. So, guys, you know, for all those people, <laughs> for all those people, guys, this is not a song that has admirable content. This is just a battle song. That's the thing I love about hip hop, is the competitive nature of it. Mm -hmm. When you can have 
Imagine like George Strait and motherfucking uh, Tim McGraw going having like a diss song towards each other. You know how crazy that would yeah. be? <laughs> in the in country. Only, thing, only you would think about something like that. <laughs> but I'm just saying like. But you're right though, I get it. But that's the cool thing about hip hop. Like you can have two major crazy, two, uh, two big time artists <laughs> go at it with each other, you know? But imagine George Strait, that would set the country world on that fire. That would be ridiculous. Set the country world on fire. So I, I do appreciate the competitive nature of the art form. Okay, yeah, man. so this is just a competitive song, guys. Let's get back to it. You niggas fool, I ain't leaving this table till you finish. Lord knows with the flow, I got good ass cooking, leaving gas, but like when you get that good ass woman. <laughs> Six seconds. Yeah. So I know you watch battle rap. Mm -hmm. Charlie Clips, big time battle rapper, might put this in the video. <laughs> Had a line where he was like, you get whooped, that's <laughs> right, you, you get, ass get that good ass whooping. Yeah. Right? He said that in the battle rap. So I don't you did you get that off of clips six seconds? You know we fuck with you. Yeah. Did you get that off of clips? I watch battle rap, so <laughs> But nonetheless, good line. Yeah, yeah. You know, smack son in the mouth like who you talking to. Yep. Son as in like when dudes, that's a New York thing. Yeah. When someone calls someone son, that means like a person, a dude. Smack mm -hmm. dude in the mouth, but he said smack son in the mouth like who you talking yep. to. Kind of like when your parents, even though they shouldn't be doing this, when they slap you in the mouth. Yep. Like I'm talking to. Like an authority. Like I'm the authority. Like you're authority. My son. Yeah, exactly. Don't disrespect me. You're, in the, you're not even my, you're my, my son. Level. Yeah. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? So anyways. Let's get back to it. You done stepped onto a landmine. We both bunch, but the difference is I land mine. That's what I call it, get your landline. Mm. You got me beat on the beat till you get beat till you flatline. Yes, I'm okay. stuck like black lives matter. At the ones who love, then I'm at your black life after. You'll get your black life taken. I'll change your black lives matter. You never did, even though I'm screaming black lives matter. <laughs> so he said, uh, I like what he said up here, though. You done stepped into a landmine. We both punch, but the difference is a landmine. Land mine. Yep. So you stepped into a landmine, you stepped into a danger zone, a landmine will blow your ass up. Yep. Uh -huh. But we both punch, as in punchlines in, in lyrics, yep. but the difference is a landmine. Yep. So I like to play on landmine. That was slick. He said, but hit one call and get you landline. Land <laughs> get you a landline. I don't know. That's kind of a reach, bro. Yeah. Then, and then, uh, then you got me beat on a beat till you get beat till you flatline, fist up like Black, Black Lives Matter. Matter. <laughs> Fist up like Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Fist up as a yeah, fight. Yeah, but yeah, fist up like yeah. Black Lives Matter. I don't know about that one, bro. At the ones you love, then I'm at your at your Black Life after. And then he said, you'll get Black Life taken. I'll change your Black Lives Matter. Yours never did, even though I'm screaming Black Lives Matter. Yeah. <laughs> so he had, a, he had some it. good lines in there, and he had some, some weak lines in there. It's kind of a mixture, right? Because yep. I like the end of that. Yeah, you know, the end of that. I'll change that. your Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yours never did, even though I'm screaming Black Lives Matter. So yep. he's saying your life never mattered. Right. Even though you're black. Even, even you're a black, black person right. and your life doesn't matter. Even right. though I'm saying Black Lives Matter. So the play works. So he had a couple uh, cheesy little corny lines and he had some good lines in it. So that's the thing about punchlines yeah. though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you're a punchline rapper, not, they're, not, they're not always going to land and it's obvious when they don't land. Yep. It gets like <laughs> blaringly obvious like that wasn't hot. Yep. Right? But we fucking with it though. Yeah. Let's get back to it. Let the metal focus your chest like a workout plan. A couple thousand for the fit, but I got hundred milli dreams and schemes to step and light you squares up like BG. Yeah. Fight for your life. I heard that too though. I've heard you that, heard that one on a, on, a, on, a, on a battle rap. Yeah, I've heard like light your block up like Billy Jean. G, yeah, light, light your squares, squares up, up like Billy Jean. So for those of you who don't know what that means. When he says he light, he'll light you squares up like Billy Jean. So he's saying he'll light you up. I mean he'll fuck he'll, you up, yeah. right? Light you up or shoot, shoot you. Up. you. Yeah. But lights you squares up. Michael Jackson made a song Billy Jean, and in the video for Billy Jean, he stepped on the, the sidewalk and it lit up the squares on the sidewalk. And right? if you don't know what that is, you, yeah, you, you ain't. You yeah. <laughs> but he's saying I light you squares up. A square is like a lame, like yeah. a cornball. So I light you Somebody squares up. Yeah. But like Michael Jackson lit the squares up on the street. Ryan's not fucking with it. Yeah. <laughs> You, you you can rap, dude. You can rap. Don't don't get it twisted. You got a lot of you know uh, similes and and double entendres and stuff. So Punch I, lines. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I put that work in. Leave my own lane before you niggas son. Only time you see a lazy eyes for is when it's up. You gon' get to switching up like you done bit off more than you can chew and not a bit enough. You want? <laughs> That, that important for That's fucked yeah. up. That's fucked up. Six seconds. He said, "Only time you see a lazy eye is Forrest Whitaker." So he's Forrest Whitaker has a lazy eye, yeah. right? 
but he's saying you're not gonna see him slacking or being yeah. lazy. So he like lazy eye as himself. So yes. like, you're not gonna see me being lazy. Right. So the only time you see a lazy eye is, is yeah. Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. He, so it's a play on work. It's, it's funny. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> I enjoyed that. He shit on Forrest Whitaker. Though. Yeah, you know. What did Forrest Whitaker do to you, man? Come on. <laughs> you want smoke or do I keep the bang hosted? You can get your whole pack lit up. I'm a chain smoker. Mm. Okay. That was hard. Yeah, that was hard. G in your unit. Yo, get a buck fifty for the bag. Keep acting clueless. Nicer and fly. That was hot. Sequence right there was hot. That whole scheme was, was hot. He yeah. said, You want smoke or do I keep that thing holstered? You get your whole pack lit up. I'm a that chain smoker. smoker. That yeah. was hard. Yeah. That was hard. Yeah. Your whole pack, meaning your whole team, yeah. lit up, shot up. I'm a chain smoker, but when you smoke, yep, right, smoke your whole if you, smoke, if you smoke the whole pack of cigarettes, you're a chain smoker. smoker yeah. But your whole pack yep. is your team lit up. I'm a chain smoke. That was hard. Yeah, that I like was that hard. Lot. I like that a lot. He said, no games, there ain't a G in your unit. You'll get a buck fifty for the bank. Keep acting clueless. That was hard. <laughs> yeah. That was hard. That was hard. G unit play yeah. and 50. So, yeah. what, what, so he's referencing G unit. G unit is a rap group that 50 Cent heads, right? Or used to. Well, I don't know if they're together or broken. I don't know what the fuck's going on with G. <laughs> but he's like, you don't even have a G. You don't yeah. have a gangster in your unit. <laughs> so you don't have a G in your unit. You don't have a real one or a yeah. gangster in your unit. But G unit is a rap group. Yeah. In the rap group, you have Lloyd Banks and, and uh, Young Buck. Yeah. So he said a G in your unit, you'll get a buck 50 Young Buck. Yeah. Buck 50 and 50 Cent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For, For the bank. bank, Lloyd Banks, right? <laughs> Keep acting clueless, clueless. Yeah. but you'll get a buck fifty. A buck fifty is like a, a slice across the face, yeah. right? That's a buck fifty with a knife. But a buck fifty, young buck and fifty yeah. cents. So we played on the whole jam. And, and Lloyd Banks. And Lloyd Banks. That was not like that. I like that. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Six times. But you know he's he's got he that. Yeah, he can rap. rap. You squares get passed out, which makes you all spam. Peace to your wife, bye, and walk off with your man. Watching your children, what do you do? Better get to it. But his hands go ring and pinch like auto tune. Damn. I've been there. You squares get xed out, bitch. You are spam. Oh, that was hard. Yeah. Uh huh. You square get you squares get xed out, bitch. You're all spam. Yeah. So kind of like when you get a fucking square spam like advertisement that pops up, you exit out. Yeah. So you and it's in the shape of a square so that was hard you yep. square as in you lames yep. get x'd out get canceled meaning you, you get Bit you destroyed yeah. annihilated <laughs> yep. spam. that was hard actually mm -hmm. yep. and then he said peace to your wife I and walk off with your broad Broad bands. bands. <laughs> that was I. but he's playing off Wi-Fi Five, and broad right, bands. Right. Ah, I don't know about that one but the one before that was slick the spam you, you squares get x'd out the spam that was hard metalheads are like man get this shit out yeah. <laughs> Metalheads, they didn't even watch it, metalheads, it, it, you're not gonna like this. Let me be honest with you, you're not gonna like this, metalheads. <laughs> For those of the metalheads that are hanging in there still, that haven't clicked off the video, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Watching your clone ain't on the do. Better get to it. Put his hands to rank and pitch like auto tune. Yeah. Yeah. Six seconds, nah, I'm over that. That one balloon line, come on, bro. <laughs> Bullet so big like you're shooting a Oompa Loompa. Yeah. <laughs> Six seconds, you know better than that. <laughs> but up here, even before that Oompa Loompa line, he said, you little B, I'm in your base in a hoodie, right? I'll call P and B Rock, then we stumping you out like A Boogie. So, for those of you who are unfamiliar, yeah. I'm sure most of you are, who aren't into hip hop, uh, he's talking about the incident with Lil B. Lil B got his ass whooped by A Boogie's crew, and P and B Rock, who's another rapper, was present. I don't, he wasn't really involved, but maybe it was some some people from his crew. But basically, Little B got his ass whooped by P and B Rock and A Boogie, right? So he said, "You little B, you know what I'm saying? I'm in your base of hoodie. I call P and B Rock, and we stumping you out like A Boogie. That's what he's referencing there." Right. And then he had that bullshit in Poopoo line. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a, a thumbs up for the P and B line, but the Poopoo line, I don't know. All right. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Your body stiff like I'm introducing Medusas to you. Medusas to you. Don't care if you're 6'9, you'll get 6'9s on your face like 6'9. Niggas hit me all, run up with the blicky all, oh, shit is sticky all, oh, leave your niggas red as trippy all. Oh. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool though. That was cool. That was cool. I, I like how he brought that uh, full circle. But he said up here, yeah, he said, uh, I mean, big rounds, who trying to be a hula hoop or big rounds, big hula rounds. Hooper, but big rounds in yeah. a gun mm -hmm. or big rounds like a hula hoop. Yep. Eh. 
He said your body's stiff like I'm introducing Medusa, Medusa to you. you. That was hard. Yeah, because you get scared. You bitch up. Right. You know what I mean? Your body's you stiff Medusa, yeah. as you're, you're turning stone. Right. Or your body's stiff as in you're stiff like you're dead. Rick and Mortis, right. you know, maybe mm -hmm. setting in, but like, like Medusa to you, like yeah. Medusa turns you to stone. Yep. So that was kind of slick. It's deuces to you. Don't care if you six nine. nine. You'll get six nines on your face like six, six nine. nine. <laughs> and then he put the six nine song in there. I don't care if you six nine. That means someone who I don't give how big you big are. You are. You'll yep. get six nines in your face like six nine, six guns, and um and you know on your face like six nine. So the, yeah. the rapper six nine has six nine tatted on his face. Yep. Got it. Yep. But six guns in your face. You got yep. it. Braiding your shit, I'm bruh man from the fifth floor And you gon' leave like him when I send you out the window yeah. <laughs> That's your boy, that's, that's, your, that's, that's your Martin. Martin That's Martin, yeah Anytime anybody has a Martin reference, it's a thumbs up yeah. <laughs> It's a thumbs up Bruh from the fifth floor So what, what he said was, raiding your shit, I'm bruh man from the fifth floor So bruh man was a character on the show Martin And he would, basically he was Martin's neighbor But he would come, come down <laughs> He would come through the window and just basically take food out of Martin's apartment, whether Martin was there or not. Yeah. He'd just go in Martin's refrigerator, make a sandwich, and then leave. Yeah. He would leave out the window. So then after that, after he said, I'm raiding your shit, yeah. right, you're going to leave like like he did. So Brum Man would just leave out the window. You're going to shoot. Gonna, He's going to throw, throw somebody out. out the window, yeah. essentially. So Love the Martin reference. Let's get back to it. Gang would be scrapped. Yo, class getting smothered. It's a cypher. All the hammer spitting one after the other. Yeah. Damn, I'm in the book, but ain't losing sleep. There's a thousand ways to die. And I'm flattered that you chose me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those thousand ways right. to die. Yeah. Hey, the thousand ways to get, you'll get your ass killed fucking yeah. with me. I'm yeah. one of the thousand ways you could die. Yeah, let's break down that cypher, though, because he killed that. But, right? It's a cypher. All the hammers spitting one after the other. That was dope. That was dope right there. So in a cypher, what's a cypher, right? A cypher is a group of rappers rapping one after the other, right? So it's a cypher, all the hammers spitting one after another. Spitting is another way of saying rapping, yep. right? But he's saying it's a cypher, all the guns shooting. The hammers. The hammers. Is yeah. a, hammers means guns. Yeah. All the hammers shooting one after another. But in a cypher, all the group, all the people in the cypher spit one yep. after the other. Hammer spitting, shooting one after another. So that was, that was hard. Yeah. Then he said... There's a thousand ways to die, and I'm flattered that you chose me. me. <laughs> <laughs> so he, you know, six seconds has uh, he's got hard lines, and he has weak lines, and he has okay lines, and he has hard lines. So that's what you get sometimes with punchline rappers, man. They just I think he might be trying to build it up though too. You know what I mean? Come down a little bit, and then bi and build you up for the punches too. You know what I mean? I don't think that oompa loompa line. Yeah, <laughs> that was no motherfucking build up. Hell no, I ain't letting you slide on that one, bro. But uh, overall, you know, he's rocking. Oh, he's, he's rocking. He's getting it. Alright, let's get back to it. Lines from the same city, but the tears are different. You'll be in so many pieces, they can't piece you together. So it's peace, so speak in peace, or I'll peace you forever, nigga. Oh my god. That was cool. That was cool. So yeah, let's put this in perspective, though, guys. I mean, this is a battle rap yeah. song. Yep. Exactly. This song is meant to just for attacking someone. Exactly. So that's what you gotta, you gotta put this in perspective, right? Like, he's just, he's just. Shooting a whole bunch of lines, trying to sh trying to battle someone. Yep, that's mm -hmm. what this is. So with that battle, with my battle hat on, I thought he did good. Hell I thought yeah. he did good. He mm -hmm. had a lot of hard lines yep. in there, but he also had some weak lines in there. You know what I mean? But overall, I think the hard lines outweighed the weak lines. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. My question for six seconds though is, what are you trying to achieve in rap? What are you trying to do with your rap career? If it's just a matter of being. Uh, yeah, because the songs that I've heard are pretty much like this. Yeah, yeah. It's just true. it's just hard to punchline, 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 punchline songs, and that's cool. But I mean, are you trying to make? What are you trying to do? What What are you trying to do with your career? Is my yep. question. You know, if it's about creating, um, you know, diverse bodies of work, and I'm sure, and keep in mind, we haven't heard, we've only heard three yeah, songs yeah, for six seconds. Exactly. So he could have a lot of songs that have that has substance, that's talking about other things, that has a sort of a variety in content. But you know, I, I need to see that though. Right. So if right. we if we do another song from six seconds, I need to see something different than just these uh, these attacking battle rap songs. Let's talk about something else. Yep. You know what I mean, we know you can do the battle rap thing. And I think the dude can rap. I, I've always yep. been excited it, since we did the first song from him. I'm like, dude, the, the dude can rap. You know you can rap, man. You, you shout out to you. Yeah, you can rap. You know, it's just uh, let, is it marketable? Let, let me hear something that's marketable. And I'm like, yeah, dude. That this is the the production's hot. Obviously, when you can rap, so your lyrics are gonna be there. But just something that that you know, that's a finished body of work, man. That's yeah. what I would like to see personally. Yeah, man. Um, I, I just think I think I just want to like Ryan said. I just want to see something else from you, man. I want to see something something different from you besides the punchline stuff. I am a huge fan of battle rap. 
I love battle rap. Shout out to Luck. Shout out to Mook. Shout out to you know JC and 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 T Top and all those dudes from Smack. If you want to take the battle rap lane, there's a lane, and if dudes are doing pretty well, they're making a decent amount of money, and maybe you should holla at Smack if that's what you want to do. You know what I mean? And still do your music or whatever. But I need to see something else if um, if I'm gonna take you serious as as a well-rounded artist. That's all. Okay. I mean, but shout out to you though. You yeah, had some man. bars though, man. Yeah, man. So that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please Absolutely. subscribe. Lost the Vegas, George, Ryan. We yeah. out.